Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be reviewing the V Cube 5. Um, friend and I bought this from Amazon a while back, and if you know anything about the V Cubes, you probably know that they take a little bit longer to break in, which is all right for me. But you know, we'll get to the review. So, stick quality stickers I really don't like. They're bad stickers, peeling everywhere, and I don't like the blue shade stickers. That's what it is. Um, the green shade's not really my favorite either. It's, you know, I'd rather have, you know, something like this in stickers or whatever. Um, yeah, it's not really a huge deal though compared to the cube. So the VQ's motto or slogan or whatever is the 21st century cube. So we'll just see if the VQ5 meets that standard that they've set. Um so for actual turning quality, the outside layers as you've probably heard if you watch, you know, some of me myself and Pi's videos or whatever. They have this really annoying clickiness that make it really hard to control the turning. Because it's not just like a straight turn. It like kind of bumps into place so it can easily overshoot, undershoot. If you're finger tricking, it's not really a huge deal, but like for the right and left turns, it really gets annoying. You can feel you can feel all the friction and the vibration, and it's just really annoying. Um the inside layers though those do turn very well especially after breaking in and lubricating um so those are very nice now let's see it. pop a piece out this is what one of the edges looks like so it's a little bit you know different from a 3x3 or a 4x4 which is alright um yeah I haven't really fully taken this apart yet um I plan to pretty soon however it's just I really don't want to risk it because the pieces are so small and it's such an expensive cube and overpriced in my opinion that um I'm afraid that some pieces could break if I handle it too roughly or whatever. So, you know, I'll eventually get to that. Um, I This is the only V-Cube that I have. Probably will be the only V-Cube that I ever have. Um, because from what I've heard, the quality of this one is even better than the quality of the other puzzles. And... I'm not even fully satisfied with the quality of this one itself. It's a good cube. I recommend it, but when you're looking at an $11 Shang Shao 5x5 compared to a $35 V-Cube 5, I mean, which one would you choose? I plan to get a Shang Shao pretty soon, and if I do, I'll definitely compare it. Um, but yeah, this isn't to the point where it's like super loose that it pops all the time from so much wear like this. Rubik's 4x4 is not really fun. Um, so I'm, I would say this is around in its prime right now, and I don't solve 5x5 five five a lot at all. I haven't picked this up and scrambled it forever and forever. It's probably been like two weeks, and I rarely even and I rarely even solve it, you know. Like, before that two weeks, it was you know, weeks before that. So, I mean, yeah, in a sense, it's nice to have in your collection. Cause, I mean, V-Cubes are a really popular brand. But if you really... I, I really can't say anything bad about this because I, I don't have any other 5x5s to compare it to. So, yeah, it's a good cube, but I think that someone could make a better cube than this, a better 5x5. Five so I'll definitely check out the Shang Shao, look into getting one of those, and see about that. 
Um, pretty brief review, I know. It's kind of hard to lengthen something like this out when you don't have much to go off of. But, um, thanks for watching, guys. We, I don't really know how many more videos we'll be putting up this, this year, 2012. Um, uh, probably not very many at all. We're not making, we're not probably going to make any more orders until maybe February of next year. Mainly because, as you guys know from some of our videos, we buy other stuff besides cubes. So, we're kind of focusing on that right now. But, um, we thank you guys for watching and subscribing and all that you guys do for us. Um, please check out our blog if you haven't already and yeah we'll see you guys next time hey guys this is our new outro so go ahead and click on whichever link that you want to thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later